Yo! What's up? 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 Hey man, y'all know me. I'm Raven. Dirt God. Raven Matt. Mr. Dirt God. Saw the Gothic Futures Haiku Slam. We're gonna do this thing with the small, lovely crowd that's here. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I ain't been feeling it this week. Feeling a little crushed. I've been making it. Horrible mistake this week. Y'all know what I've been doing? It's just a classic mistake that we all do. I've been comparing myself to others. Mm. I've been looking at others. And sometimes I look at others and they seem to have more than me automatically. And I get resentful about it. And then I look at some others and compare myself to them. And they seem to be doing better than me in some aspects that I strive at. And I'm wondering what I'm doing wrong. And I'm just comparing myself to others and making myself feel horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and I realize, as I always do, I always use this metaphor, and you might have heard me say it again. Our entire system is a pyramid scam. <laughs> it's all a pyramid scam. And we're all on that pyramid somewhere. And a lot of times, we standing on top of people we don't notice. I mean, we're a room full of white folks, of white appearing folks. My fault if I say something wrong. <laughs> We all look white, so we high up on this pyramid on somebody, but we always see somebody above us standing on our head, and I know all y'all, we all getting stood on, like I know that, like we all struggling, ain't none of us sitting here living in no big fat house and going to go eat at the French restaurant every three nights. <laughs> we struggling, and that's all we feel, and it frustrates me. But I also started trying to do something else to remedy that. I've been going back in the woods, because where I live is next to an old quarry, whose best days were 100 years ago. But there's all these soapstone slabs everywhere because that's what the quarry was, a soapstone quarry. And I walked down the hill and I found a nice flat soapstone. I stuck it on a quartz rock with my back against a tree and I just been sitting there this week. Because the pyramid, when you were stuck on the pyramid, all you feeling is the people standing on top of you and it hurts your head and you don't feel the people you standing on top of because you don't feel that. It's just not the way the pyramid is. We all want to get up the pyramid further. We want to feel free and have a better view and not have to deal with it. And I already hear people talking about how I'm supposed to vote, what I'm supposed to do. And I just want to say, you can't fix a pyramid scam. <laughs> you can't pick the right people to run the pyramid scam to make the pyramid scam work in a better way. It's still a pyramid scam. They might be nicer about it. They might be more pleasant to deal with when someone like, if someone's standing on top of your head and they say, oh, excuse me, that's way different than somebody standing on top of your head saying, fuck you, I'm going to stand on top of your head. So I get it. I get that. But the real solution is to not have no damn pyramid. Know what I'm saying? So that's why I like to just sit in the woods and look around. I don't think about pyramids. I just look at the woods. Scared of deer, they hustle off. Come on in, I'm just rambling. My name's Raven. How you doing? Hi, good. How you doing? So that's what's been on my mind this week. And I ain't been feeling too hype, too hot, too good. You know, I still look good as hell, I know. I, <laughs> you know, I clean up well. No, I just play, y'all. You know. I ain't conceited. But I do try to match my socks to my clothes all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> you notice? So I've been feeling down, but we did one of these Tuesday night, and I got a real adrenaline high from it, and then immediately afterwards I felt like shit and was second-guessing myself. But I was excited to come do this one, and I was also dreading it, because mm -hmm. I'm tired. And I don't feel like standing in front of people and being hopeful and saying magical things, because I don't feel very magical right now. And yet here I am, plugging along like I know what I'm doing, because I'm good at that. I've been working my whole life, so I know how to pretend I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to keep on doing it. So thank you all for coming out. You showed up late. Are you coming to share some haiku with the rest of us in a haiku slam, or are you just here to watch? Me? Yeah. I got some haiku here. All right. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> May I ask your name for the sign-up sheet? I'm Maddie. Maddie? Mm -hmm. Is that M-A-T-T-I-E? D-D. E-D. -E. E Wait, E-D. E -D. D D I E, but you know T T is better. Do the T T. Wait, <laughs> tonight, tonight, tonight only. Yes. Yeah, tonight only. M A D D I E. I got it. Thanks. My bad. No, no. I got fifty-year-old ears. All right, so I'm gonna explain how this works since we do have one new person. 
Damn, I didn't do the flags out like I do. Ha! Ha! We got a green flag and purple flag. I'm going to call two people up. Green flag going to go first. Purple flag going to go second. Each person going to read a haiku. I got three judges. One, two, where did, oh, three. My bad, Mike. I forgot. Three judges. They're going to hold a flag up for whichever one they choose. Y'all choosing it on how it feels, poetics, style, delivery, performance, whatever you want to judge it on is okay. It's all good, man. We amongst friends here. It don't matter. Ain't nobody in here being a gatekeeper. We ain't sending in submissions where somebody's going to get back to you in three months telling you whether you got accepted or not. You accept it. You all accept it. Congratulations. You're officially published in the imaginary Southern Gothic Futurism <laughs> Journal of Futuristic Haiku. Amazing. <laughs> judges will do it. Two out of three flags wins the round. So judges, it ain't on any one of you. It's not your fault if somebody loses or wins. It's not your problem. You are contributing to a team effort that guides us through the night. <laughs> Loser of the round goes first the next round. We go till we hit a predetermined amount of haiku. So I'm going to ask, I know how many you got. How many you think you got tonight, Jason? Oh, uh, I guess like 15, 19. Okay, and you got a stack. How many you think you brought tonight, Maddie? I think I got like 14. Okay, good, good. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to start it off, because I know me and Dolly got three million. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start it off with us, and what we're going to do is we're going to do best of nine each round, going to five. So that should be enough to get everybody through. All the rest of y'all are only going to have to do two rounds. Whoever wins amongst me and Dolly is going to have to go three rounds. Mm -hmm. So we have to dig deeper into stack. So coming up on the green side, y'all give it up for my partner in a sparkly, jangly outfit. Woo! Mm -hmm. Dolly. Now, I want to point something out about Dolly's outfit. This purple top that is translucent and see-through. I'm going to admit something to y'all. I bought that shirt for myself. <laughs> and it is a little too tight. But that's okay. I got a blue one. And I will wear that one. Oh, yeah. Coming up on the purple side, not wearing a purple translucent shirt. That's probably a bad omen. Mm -hmm. Damn. Damn. Raven Mac. And we're going best of nine. First one to win five rounds. Dolly, you get to lead it off. Okay. Judges, hold your flags up high too because I'm old and blind. And, well, not till you pick, Mike. I know. I was <laughs> doing it symbolically. <laughs> Dolly, you get to go first. Supportively. <laughs> <clears throat> Refusing to monetize my own joy is a form of resistance. White folks getting lost in corn mazes for leisure on autumn weekends. <laughs> Dolly took that one up one to nothing. A lot of corn maze fans. You get to go first, down one to nothing. Did you? I did it right. No, did no, I? the microphone. You're not using the microphone. I don't, I don't you want me to? You want me to? Twelve. It's okay. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Skin tight ponytailed woman amidst purple vape smoke exiting car. She wants to be my new friend, but I just want to be left alone now. <laughs> Judges. One to one. Get to go first. Yelling, going to the Hinkley convention to passing buzzards. <laughs> Feeling the wireless rays create cartoon squiggly lines over my head. <laughs> Dolly took that one up two to one. Dolly beat me Tuesday night too. We do this every night. We have a battle every night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also winning the words with friends. <laughs> Hollering out car window at nighttime possum past. What's up, fat boy? <laughs> Imagining the vendors at the Hinkley Buzzard Convention. <laughs> That's, That's a hard one. one. Two to two. I'm trying to not be judgmental, but other people make it hard. 
<laughs> the obnoxious buzz of leaf blowers on otherwise beautiful morning. <laughs> Dolly's up three to two. Many a southern town's brightest lights outline the vape shop's front window. <laughs> Casually talking suicidal ideation over lunch. That's hard. Three to three. Modern and ancient mythologies combined with my own to guide me. Super duty truck grill angrily filling up my rear view mirror. <laughs> You get to go first. Watching grown ass man get into a stubborn off with a goat. Been there. <laughs> Cat on countertop licking burger grease out of the skillet again. <laughs> Took that one four to four. Whoever wins this one shall advance deeper onto the night. <laughs> <laughs> I've been kind of comedic, so <laughs> let's keep it going. The empty spaces of familial failures, those grieved while alive. <laughs> um. <laughs> My friend says, your brother's not a rooster. Are you sure, I think? Five to four. Oh Thank my. Oh, yes. 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 And I got a surprise fact for all of y'all about me and Dolly. Neither one of us were theater majors. Avenged the other night. Thank goodness. <laughs> hit the button to reset our digital scoreboard. <laughs> Coming up on the green side and see we have championship bottles. The bottle is not present tonight but we have a purple bottle that signifies an excellence in the 17 syllable haiku form. That is currently possessed by Amy who will be defending that later tonight against a challenger who is so full of haiku if she said, fuck it, I'm going to do the main slam too. So coming up on the green side, y'all give it up for Trisha McDaniel. Yes. And coming up on the purple side, because I love to do this. You know what I'm going to do. Y'all give it up for another master of haiku, Jason McDaniel. Yes. First one to win five. Trisha, you get to go first, and y'all gotta promise me there's no animosity on the car ride home afterwards. We drove separate. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Somebody will get run off the road on 64 <laughs> East on the way home. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. Y'all know they got a house. They just moved into a house. Oh, wow. Wow. They let these fools qualify yep. to own a house. Uh -huh. <laughs> they did that, but they Thank were Thank God. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Trisha and Jason. Okay. Have a good day. They ain't got to deal with mold unless it's their own mold. They ain't got to deal with things falling apart unless it's their own things falling apart. Amazing. All right, Trisha, you get to go first. Government office. Hope that cough is allergies. Beige walls, sticky floor. A lunchtime haiku. Getting cookout because it's cheap. Heartburn's the real cost. <laughs> Judges. Jason took the first one, and I knew my kid was going to vote for cookout. <laughs> <laughs> Up one nothing. Trisha, you get to go first. <laughs> one episode left, Netflix tells me, as if I'm completing a task. <laughs> <laughs> Jason. 
A pregnant woman swimming in a pool becomes human submarine. <laughs> Trisha took that one, one to one. Jason, one to one, one to five. Oh, uh, let's see. The irony of circumcised dudes mad about child mutilation. Mm. Mm. Got him, Trisha. Got him. <laughs> mm. Things I need to learn. How to uproot a dogwood that's threatening my house. <laughs> Judges. Jason gets that one up two to one. You got any advice? Always. Okay. I mean, I just thought, when me and Dolly go on road trips, she'd be like, oh, pull over by this cemetery on the back road. I'm going to get some of these trees to transplant. So I just thought you might have some input, you know? <laughs> that's not a bad diss either. Like, that's like, I, I finally got somebody that I can travel with the way I always wanted to travel. It takes 17 hours to get 45 minutes away. <laughs> All right, Trisha, you down two to one. All right. A judgment-free zone? At Planet Fitness Bon Air? <laughs> That'd be a hard pass. <laughs> Jason. That was a good one. Uh, Y'all remember when smoking weed was a secret? Now bankers do it. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's up three to one. It's Trisha, you get to go first. Mm -hmm. P.S. Thanks so much for noticing that I'm fat. I will work on that. <laughs> Jason. Smoking because stress leads to stress because smoking. Round and round we go. <laughs> Judges. Three to two. Trisha took that one. Jason, you up three to two. You get to go first. Family drama is like my default setting. Never not beefing. <laughs> Trisha. Oh, the grocery store, bane of my existence, yet I can't hunt or farm. <laughs> Jason took that one, four to two. Trisha, you get to go first. Mm. Resisting the urge to glitter all surfaces. Just full Lisa Frank. <laughs> Jason. House full of queer teens having a birthday party is wholesome as fuck. <laughs> Jason took it, y'all. Five to two. Y'all give it up Yay! for Trisha. She's going to be coming back in a few minutes anyways. <laughs> Write this down. Move Jason. Four, mark out Trisha, carry two, plus three. And I'm going to go ahead and move these since we ain't using them so they won't fall down and hurt themselves. <laughs> Never mind. Alright. Coming up to the stage now, making their debut in the Southern Gothic Futures Haiku Slam, who just walked up in here not knowing what the hell to expect. Do you know anybody? Who told you about this? I actually came to the one in Charlottesville, and then I was, like, obsessed. And That's right, the other night, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Maddie. I thought you looked familiar. So Maddie came the other night not knowing what this was and had was so impressed by the ridiculous spectacle of it all, <laughs> she has chosen to write some haiku and come join us tonight. So y'all give it up for Maddie. <laughs> And by luck of the draw, Maddie, unfortunately, you're gonna have to face me. Oh, oh shit! So we going to <laughs> oh, oh God! Okay. It's all good. It's all good. I done, I done, I done lost a lot, Maddie. I lost. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> you get to go first. All right. Um, let's see. Type what's wrong with me. Too intimate with Google. Site.edu. <laughs> <laughs> Secondhand Roomba. Moving in drunken circles throughout the living room. <laughs> That's one for Maddie, up one to nothing. See, it ain't that hard. <laughs> I get to go first. 
Adidas slides in assorted sizes scattered beside the front door. Too much time scrolling, not enough time wondering how ATMs work. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie took that one too, up two to nothing. So I get to go first. Down two to nothing. Oh yeah, slice of life. <laughs> Squirting purple dish soap from Family Dollar onto Ragged Sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Found, found poem from Hinge Prompt. To me, relaxation is just a peaceful mind. Nice. Alright, I'm coming back. Two to one, hey, Maddie. Hey, hey. You're up, but you get to go first. Alright. Overheard some birds. Who am I? What do I want? Then they sang as one. Trajectory of a person's soul easily visible in eyes. <laughs> two to two. You get to go first. Once fancied myself a people watcher. Now I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> the Appalachian urge to accumulate junk on seven acres. <laughs> <laughs> Three to two. Three to two. Don't worry though. Oh, you know what we ain't done yet? Uh -oh. Nature Boy Chat. We're going to do a nature boy check and get Maddie fired up. Y'all know what a nature boy check is. I'm going to count to three. When I'm at one, you're going to be breathing in through your mouth, into your throat, down into your lungs. When I get down to two, it's going to be swirling around in your belly and your gut and everything. You'll be churning up what you need to churn up, whether it's bad stuff you got to get rid of or good stuff you got to share. And when I get to three, it's going to be coming back out and we all going to go woo like we nature boy Ric Flair in 1983 coked out of our minds. <laughs> nature boy check. One, two, three. Woo! All right, Maddie, you'll go. All right. Grandma said last night, you don't know how long the Lord will let you hang out. <laughs> Real. <laughs> Big old possum in the compost bin, buffeting off of kitchen scraps. I took that one too, Maddie. Four to two. Nice, nice. Don't want to have a pity party. Much prefer a titty party. <laughs> <laughs> Suicidal hopes manufactured by this free market of sadness. <laughs> titty party wins. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> prefer a titty party. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Eleven out of ten. Yeah, yeah. No brainer, right there. All right, I'm up four to three. I go first. That lonesome air horn of coal train passing through town seven miles away. Hmm. Crying on a walk with an art school grad. Might be postmodernism. <laughs> <laughs> four to four. All right. This is it, Maddie. You make it to the final. Here we go. Circle of sitting kids with mischievous smiles on backyard trampoline. <laughs> Calling something weird is like pointing out the sky. My eye broad colors. Judges. Hmm. Can I can can I hear both of them again? Yeah, yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> Wipe the judges' votes from the record and we shall repeat ourselves. Circle of sitting kids with mischievous smiles on backyard trampoline. Calling something weird is like pointing out the sky. My eye broad colors. And we had a switch, and it goes to Maddie. You <laughs> beast of the <laughs> Do we shake? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll shake. <laughs> we'll shake. We'll shake. Yes. Good job, Maddie. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Maddie made it to the final. And how many you got left, Maddie? Like, not enough, maybe. <laughs> I, uh, this is free form. I can adjust how many we got to go to easily. Okay. Oh. I maybe you could get like three. You got three left? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We're going to do best of three for the final. Okay. In fact, let's go ahead and do the final. Damn! <laughs>
Well, I ain't tell y'all though, because we do have sponsorship from Joy Menagerie, which has done um, food distribution, assorted emergency funding, food distribution in Charlottesville. Currently taking a little pause from that because our main food district person a little burned out, at dealing with health issues with the house. We do it at too, but. You want to tell them about Joy Menagerie or not? You want me to tell them? No, tell them about Joy Menagerie real quick. Yeah. Um, so Joy Menagerie is a project that I do with a assortment of allies and comrades and busybodies, and uh, we do food distribution, we do emergency funding, um, we do community support like this, like haiku slams, like study groups, um, and we're like basically a great big family. And uh, in the sp we started the food distribution at the beginning of the pandemic, and we are it's just me and a couple other people, and we raised over that time fifty thousand dollars, and it's not at all through normal means. It's just asking people. It's not grant funded. I mean, we've done uh, sponsored the haiku slams now for, for a few years. We've done a few thousand dollars in haiku slams. And the emergency funding, which is hard to talk about because it's not fair. It's purposely not fair because it's this world's not fair. We probably do about ten to fifteen thousand dollars a year in that. And all of this is just figuring out. I'm good at asking people for whatever resources they can share, and then in reminding everybody we don't need permission. And uh, so I'm always happy to talk to people about how to get involved in the ways that if you've got extra resource, how to share that with people. And so sometimes that's referrals to mental health because you know all the people in town who provide mental health and what health insurance and all of that. So um, it's one of my passions, but I'm also really tired of it. So I'd love other people to do more. Yeah. So. <laughs> and I'm going to say one more thing on it too before we finish that up. Is the great thing I love about Joy Menagerie is there's a lot of young folks in it that um, some of them children of refugees that came to America, a lot of black and brown kids that are now beautiful, intelligent young adults. Like, I've been impressed with these people. And one thing that Dolly and some of the elders of the group have done is, again, we're a room full of white appearing people. Even as we struggle, we don't realize the things we have access to because of that. Uncles that we can ask for favors, aunts that know how to do things, people that can help us with $2,000 loan at one point in our life, stuff like that. And one of the founding principles of Joy Menagerie is expanding that knowledge and access outside of our known circles and letting other people have access to that. Because that's how we start to knock some of them blocks off the pyramid, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We spread it out more and we open it up. And I actually said that the other night when I was talking about it because somebody wrote a haiku about survive and thrive. And it was a great parallel of people too because one, one person was a young woman who was a UVA student who had come to Charlottesville for UVA. And the other one was a young woman who had grown up in foster care and lived in the Shenandoah Valley. Contrasting styles equals on the stage. And that one person had a haiku about surviving and thriving. And I talked about how we all want to survive. We got to expand our notion of community because if some people is thriving high up on that pyramid and a whole bunch of people is struggling to survive, that ain't shit, y'all. That ain't <laughs> shit. And that ain't even a good recipe for long time because eventually all these people ain't surviving going to get mad and go fuck shit up. That's what you got to worry about if you thriving too well. Them gates ain't going to stand up forever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you get enough people, you're going to boost right the fuck over. we got to make it so everybody can survive, and then more people can thrive. So that's I love Dolly for that. Some of the people I've been exposed to, some of the crazy-ass people, too. Man. There's some wild youngsters that are so smart but so damn crazy and ambitious and good and smart. Whew! Keeps me fired up. All right, best of three. This is our final. Coming up on the green side, best of three. Pick the best three darts. Y'all give it up for Jason McDaniel. Woo! And on the purple side, it's going to be Maddie. Oh, and that's why I did all that rambling about Joy Manager. I forgot to tell you. What is it? One, two, three, four. There's like eight of us in here. We still got $100 in cash prizes for competitors. So whoever wins this best of three. Go win twenty five dollars, and whoever comes in second and wins second, don't lose. Win second, gonna get fifteen dollars, and you're not just gonna get it. 
You're going to have earned it. <laughs> Jason, you get to go first. Addict behavior, a relentless enemy that exhausts its prey. Maddie. Looking at the stars, is the all quotient fulfilled? A blink of splendor? There's one for Jason. We're going to three. Maddie, I know you're getting down to the to the bottom of the grocery bag. Really at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> That's okay. You have done excellent for Fresh your first time on the stage. Thank you. Um, Last year, a close friend rubbed her feet against my calves. Heartbeat straight to throat. <laughs> <laughs> Jason. Poet laureate to the weird ones among us, our cousin Raymond. Oh. <laughs> judges. Maddie took that one. Hey. The judges hate Raven. <laughs> 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 Jason, you can go first. <laughs> Oh, sweet summer child, my boss has definitely seen me high before. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie? I am less the girl parading around your feet. She looked really cute. Judges. And this going to go to Jason, y'all. Congratulations, <laughs> Jason. Again. But also, congratulations to Maddie. Maddie. $15. <laughs> <laughs> debut. Well, you read like eight, nine, twelve haiku, and you already made fifteen dollars. You done made a dollar <laughs> per haiku crazy. already. <laughs> <in life. laughs> no, nothing. Jason, twenty-five dollars for winning. Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Working his way towards the big tournament in November. I don't know about all that. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and do best of 19. we got a battle roll at the end, so I'm going to let everybody, I'm going to let the main event go in case they want to be in the battle roll too, because I know when I'm in the main event, which ain't been for a while now, damn, I get all psyched up. I'm like Rocky Balboa coming out, you know, so. <laughs> coming back up on the green side to defend the bottle they won last month over Dustin King, our previous winner, our purple bottle champion. Y'all give it up for Amy Rose. Woo! And if any of y'all don't know, I'm just going to tell y'all, there's an Instagram account called at AR804, and you can go to that Instagram account and see many of Amy's amazing photographs, and even better, go to her page, look at her bio, there's a link to a Patreon in there, and you can click on that Patreon, y'all know what a Patreon is? <laughs> Patreon is where you support artists doing their art. You might get something, you might not. you supporting them as an artistic individual walking upon this earth trying to survive as a creative person. Throw a couple dollars at Amy. If you can't do it but for three months, that's fine. Do it for three months. Three months doing it is better than no months doing it. If you can't do it at all, that's fine too. You ain't got to. Ain't nobody trying to make you struggle more trying to support your friends. We all supporting each other. We all demoing each other the same $23. <laughs> Coming up on the purple side, the challenge for this purple bottle, a person who actually, with our last super tournament, was part of the field of eight. So this is a long-time haiku slam veteran. Y'all give it up for Trisha McDaniel. Woo! So we're going the first one to win ten rounds deep into the stack. Only the most excellent poets can go that far. <laughs> Amy, you get to set it off. Headstones and hometowns bought the day you were born dying. Country club waitlist. Trisha. Hmm. Wish I had a vice. Not like a bad habit, but like a clampy. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to go to Trisha. Up one to nothing. Amy, get to go first. My mom calls because National Weather Service told her it was time. <laughs> Trisha? Hmm. A nice cup of tea, a honey spoon, and oh wait, honey spoon melted. <laughs> Judges. That one goes to Amy, one to one. Trisha, you get to go first with your melted honey spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Things I need to learn. To train feral cats to hunt groundhog as a pack. <laughs> In accordance with the Fair Labor Standards Act, 
I'm taking your lunch. <laughs> Judges. <laughs> Trisha took that one up two to one. I think we've all had some sort of job where we've had to go that route. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, down two to one, you get to go first. Full eye vacancy. No subtext is a weird flex. I hate your tattoos. <laughs> Man in trucker hat applies red tape to tail light and calls it a day. <laughs> Judges, Amy took that one two to two. The ebb and flow of a haiku deathmatch. <laughs> Trisha, you go first. Over loud intercom can't be ignored, but also can't be understood. <laughs> we mopped my mom's hair, relentless with my brother. She had a mullet. <laughs> Judges. <laughs> Trisha took that one up three to two. Amy, you get to go first. Let's see. Remote no control. You're a book about TV. Paid advertising. Trisha. <laughs> Is quarter to five too late to go off on some wild goddamn goose chase? <laughs> Judges. Trisha took that one four to two. And having experienced Dolly's compound, I can say no. No, that is not too late. <laughs> In fact, that's a very normal time for a goose chase. <laughs> Amy, four to two, you down. Bless your little heart. Keep track of your little life. Mind your little neck. <laughs> Trisha. I am the miter, I say, like I ain't forgot all geometry. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. And that's Amy, four to three. Trisha, get to go first, up four to three, going to ten. I think we're going to ten. Y'all can make it to ten. Yeah. If sure, like, maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, cutting corners? Way more complicated than cliches have told us. <laughs> Amy. I'm a great tipper. Pontoon Pilot 69, AOL.com. Judges. <laughs> Trisha took that one. Five to three. Amy, you go. You can't come for me with words I taught you to use, dilettante baby. <laughs> <laughs> The Ashland Walmart, a place no one wanted, but wait, here they all are. <laughs> Amy took that one, five to four. Now, I have never been to the Ashland Walmart necessarily, but I've been to Ashland and I've been to a Walmart. And combining the two together, I can imagine what you're dealing with. Five to four, you are up, you get to go first. No diss to anybody if you was born in Ashland. <laughs> uh, McDonald's french fries blasphemy necessity we have all been there Amy ride a rocket ship to a garden party Molotov julep Ooh, that's just, Trisha took that one that's a good combo though I like that one Amy Amy you get to go first six to four you're down Make friends with people who like your actual faces. The crew run run. Trisha. Mm. Excuse me, my friend, may I make a suggestion? Stop electing olds. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. And that one goes to Trisha. Up seven to four. Oh, we're gonna wrap this oh. up. Amy. I won't die clocked in. Put my body in the street. Tits out till I'm dirt. <laughs> yes. I'll try that. Oh, that's a sad one. <laughs> no, we don't die clocked in. No, it's a happy one. <laughs> Tits are in the street. We're out. They started yes. swirling around in my head. <laughs> I'm saying, started, no, no, it's a happy one. You're right. You're right. You're right. Thank you. We have a ginger ale. We're chilling. Bong hits for breakfast like an absolute winner. Days off are hen's teeth. <laughs> Judges. 
Amy took that one seven to five. Trisha, you get to go first. Hmm. Things we used to have, boarding houses. Things we got, cities of unhoused. Amy. Hi, long time sweetie, first time killer, love the show. What gets blood stains out? <laughs> <laughs> That one goes to Amy, seven to six. Oh. We got a good one, folks. Trisha, get to go first. My bad, I interrupted the first <laughs> syllable. So poor host etiquette, my apologies. Mm. Judges, don't count that against me. <laughs> Impending Asheville, a getaway that I want to get away from. <laughs> <laughs> Amy. Maritime wristwatch, always showing up too late, metronome boyfriend. <laughs> Judges. And that one goes to Trisha, up eight to six. Your shot, Amy. Mm -hmm. Mad Dash, Petty Cash, warrant out for your address. Prime Crime, Nickels and Dime, or Prime Crime, Nickel Dime. Trisha. Don't want to be gross, but a nice weekend free bleed, quite liberating. <laughs> Judges. Yes. Trisha took it up nine to six. You see, this is the beauty of the haiku slam. Trisha was eliminated right away in the main slam, yet is excelling in the main event. We're all equals here, y'all. <laughs> Amy, you get to go first. Nine to six. Pressure's on. Mm -hmm. It's not really pressure. <laughs> <laughs> the poor man's poor man. Next best thing to everything. Don't that shit sting bad? Mm -hmm. Trisha. Resisting the urge to infiltrate tea party and sabotage signs. Judges. Amy took that one. Nine to seven. Come on, seven. Damn. Trisha, you get to go first, up nine to seven. Ice packs and a leave are no substitute for rest, but what can you do? <laughs> Amy? Part eight ain't that great. Six hubcaps on a Mustang. You ain't Steve McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> and Amy took like that one, up. nine to eight. <laughs> Trisha, you get to go first, nine to eight. You had a strong lead. It's dissipating quickly, though. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Canadians, eh? Either balls to the wall or completely closed up. <laughs> Amy? Gifts that never work. Consummate virtuoso at broken tent pole. Judges. That one goes to Amy, too. Nine to nine. All right. Hey, this is it, y'all, for the purple bottle. The purple bottle first won in June of last year by the amazing Harley Saxon. Lost in this very room earlier this year to Dustin King, wonderful poet, who then lost it last month to a wonderful artist, Amy Robeson. That magic purple bottle full of spirits from the foothills of Appalachia. <laughs> Early in my living room. Meant I forgot to, to bring it. Meant to bless your life. The spirits are dancing around Amy's living room right now. Okay. They're they are singing Shimmy Shimmy Ya by ODB. They totally are. There. I heard it. This is for Trisha, you get to go first. Dogwood must get chopped. State tree or no, it must go away from my house. Amy. You played it bad good, been over a fast car's hood, summer 99. Judges. And Amy came back and held on, y'all. Y'all yeah, give it up for Amy. I'm just really anxious I don't have the bottle. Oh, shit. 25 for being a main event, super haiku, superstar champion, hilarious delivery, wonderful human being, Trisha yes. McDaniel.
And twenty five dollars for being the exact same thing, but just in your own way. <laughs> Y'all give me a All right, all that's left is I got ten dollars left in my pocket, and I would feel guilty if I walked out of here with it on my own. So we're gonna have a battle roll for this ten dollars, and I plan on beating anybody left who's got a haiku left. So if you have any haiku left, come on back up. Run through the stack. It ain't but like five of us, so you might not need but two or three. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I don't even think I You got two or three left, Trisha? Yeah. You did, are you tapped out, Maddie? I only got one. Come Do up it. and see how far it goes. If you keep winning with it, you can make one up on the spot. True, true. I'm not going to be the only one who doesn't. <laughs> I got a couple. Yeah, right, let's see. Order. <laughs> All right. Green side Dolly, purple side Amy. So I did this the other night too. I made people move on sides. Oh wait, what? Oh, okay. Now you go. Yeah, you go purple and you go okay. green. We'll do it that way. I had, I had Mike set up the other night in Charlottesville. Three months it took me to figure out how to have two mics working correctly. That's because I buy shoddy equipment. <laughs> Finally got him set up, and then when I did the battle roll, every name I called had to cross the stage, <laughs> where I had like eight different wires running across. So, you know, that's how I am. I'm a chaos agent. <laughs> Amy, you get to go first. I covered the body with magnolia leaves and grass. Can a bird be a sucker? <laughs> Dolly. Chia seeds are enemies of my anatomical plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. Dolly won. Y'all give it up for Amy, yeah. though. Woo! Eliminated first in the battle royal, but still the purple oh. bottle champion. And because the orange bottle championship just changed hands this very week, that means in the imaginary Southern Gothic Futures haiku slam ratings that live in the back of my head is our longest tenured <laughs> champion, Amy's at the top of the list. Hey. All right, coming up on the green side. Oh, man, I love this guy. Y'all give it up for Raven. <laughs> <laughs> and on the purple side, y'all give it up for Jason. Hey. <laughs> Slapping my belly like a sumo wrestler while walking to kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you can't quit a thing and still keep doing the thing. It's just how it is. <laughs> Judges, Raven took it. Jason, thank you very much. Pleasure. Green side Maddie, purple side Trisha. Maddie, you get to go first. Alone, not lonely. Me and me, we felt giddy, and then it changes. Trisha. The dinner quandary. What will we subsist on now? <laughs> Answer is unclear. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. And Trisha took it. One judge threw the flag in the air. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Maddie who ran Woo! through the whole stack tonight. Yo. Green side Dolly, purple side Raven. A rematch from earlier tonight. <laughs> Today I didn't ask for permission or clarity. Self-care. <laughs> Turns out the tree of liberty is really just an invasive weed. <laughs> Dolly gets vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> the X, I'll read that one again since it's a loser. <laughs> Green side Trisha. <laughs> Purple side Dolly. <laughs> and you got a purple shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. It's the aesthetics of it all. You know? it's like, look, my socks don't match my shirt. Every day of my life, like, if I can't match my socks to my shirt, I just don't wear either one. <laughs> Trisha, you get to go first. Mm. Big fat fucking fly, dazed by cold on bathroom floor. Leave until spring, fly. <laughs> My heart's a scoff law, even if I'm pretending to abide. Judges. And Trisha oh. took it, y'all. Can you read that one again? I think that was one of my favorite haiku that I've heard in months. <laughs> Early pandemic. Ha 
haiku. There you go. I won't hear it again. Oh, I'm gonna sit here. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here in an appreciative way. <laughs> Big fat fucking fly, dazed by cold on bathroom floor. Leave until spring, fly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo! It's even better the second time. Ten dollars, y'all. Woo! <laughs> So that's how we do this. We're doing it again next month in, in classic Raven fashion. I didn't even bother to look it up. But I got a website, ravenmac.com, with haiku slams on it. And I could actually pull my phone out and do it now, but I'm too lazy to do it. Yeah, check it out, Berkeley. I got a whole web page with my haiku spikes for sale. And check it out. I got a table back there, which I had anticipated this building was going to be smack full of people. There was going to be 39, 40 people. <laughs> All in their late 40s and early 50s had transitioned through life, had professional jobs, and were just going to be willing to throw Venmo and Cash App money at us, but they forgot to come. So anybody who showed up tonight, you're welcome to take a zine and take a button. Take it. You ain't got to pay me shit. If you want to pay something, you can. You ain't got to. Just take them, man. My zines want to be red. My buttons want to be worn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all find a date? November 16th. Huh? November 16th. We got one in uh, October. Oh, yeah. We should probably look at October 1st. We got one in October on My the page. My apologies. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what fucking month it is. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you find it? Yeesh. Man, y'all follow me. Y'all know. I'm yeah, it. It's the 19th. October 19th. 19th. <laughs> October 19th. And if you go to Charlottesville, October 17th. We're doing them back to back. Because those are weeks that I don't have my 15-year-old, and also I'm an idiot that thinks I can still do this thing more than once a week. Mm -hmm. And if you're feeling ambitious and lucky, I know none of y'all based in Charlottesville, but I'm also DJing once a month at Blue Moon Diner. Next Thursday night is when I DJ. And i got to admit, I've been doing it. I've been doing slowed 45s. It's a slowed funk vibe, whole thing. I didn't feel good about it after last month. I went down in the woods. I sat on my soapstone. I got a whole new style. Next week. Whole new style. Y'all ain't ready for this. They, they might outlaw it, so you might want to come see it. So thank y'all for coming. I appreciate it.